Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, check this one out today. For Windows 11, every time you install Windows 11, you have to do like all the, uh, you know, the system settings to tweak things the way that you want it. I found this great program here. It is called the Windows 11 Fixer. And this will go through and change a lot of the stuff all in one location for you. And I'm gonna show you how this works today. Um, so here's the website. I've put it down in the description below. And what you will do is um, it'll give you a few screenshots of what uh, it looks like and stuff like that. But here's the about section. So pay attention to this. Um, and it basically just going through this real quick. It's a program designed to customizing Windows 11 easily as possible. Here's some of the features here. So check that out. And as far as the download, you scroll down a little bit. Here's your downloads here. I'm just going to go, or I went with the portable version. I've already downloaded that. If you go with the light version, you do have to install .NET 5.0, which it does come with. So um, I'm just going to go with portable, see how that works out. Uh, if we scroll down, here's kind of some screenshots of what it looks like, what it does. But let's go ahead, and if you want to go ahead and download that, I've got mine downloaded here. I'm just gonna right click and extract all. Put this on my desktop. All right, perfect. And when you extract it, you're gonna have to go into the folder here, go into data, and then you're gonna go run the Windows 11 fixer right here. All right, so pause and take some extra time if you need to on that until you get it installed. Now, guys, before we start, I will let you know, this is my disclaimer. You are making these changes at your own free will, at your own risk. Um, I am not responsible for anything that is messed up in your computer after running this. I've messed with this a little bit. I've had no problems. But, you know, when you are running this, you are changing some different things in your system. Um, and you can potentially cause problems. So this is at your own risk. And if you're good with that, let's continue. So you see the user interface is pretty well laid out right here. I like that it also has a dark mode, and I kind of prefer that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with dark mode. And then you got four different sections over here. You got your fixed windows, windows settings, uninstall MS bloat, which is basically bloatware, and then install different softwares. Um, so this is pretty cool for if you're just getting Windows 11 up and going and uh, you need some of this stuff. It's pretty neat. So let's start here. So we're going to go back to fix windows here. And this first section is about the taskbar, which is down here. Now you can see by this, um, you can tell it no change. Um, you can put it to the left or put it to the center. Now, Generally, by default, it's in the center, so <laughs> no change in center is going to be exactly the same. Um, but the left, um, you can change the size of the taskbar. You can disable or enable the widgets. Uh, there's generally a chat button. I don't have that here because I've already disabled that uh, manually. And then you got your keyboard switcher. Um, files and folders, you can tell it to make those visible or hidden, uh, hide or show file extensions, shortcut icons, etc., etc. Now I'm probably not gonna change anything. I'm probably just gonna go through this and just show this to you guys. Uh, different stuff about your right click context menu, which is this when you right click and all this stuff here that you see. So you can actually uh, go in and add and remove different options here with that, which is really pretty cool. Uh, then you got your file explorer which is this when you open up your file explorer and this will decide how you see that whether it's compact view tell you or you can set by default where do you want it to open to you got your start menu layout here um, and so you can just tell it default uh, no change more pins etc etc a lot of people don't change a lot of that stuff and then you got some other stuff here, widgets, screensavers, and stuff like that. Um, so changing most of this stuff here really probably shouldn't cause any uh, issues in your system. Um, then we go to Windows settings here. Um, now we're talking like notifications. If you want to see notifications, 
Um, this is something I always turn off, these suggestions on device startup. Uh, you got your storage sense, your clipboard, different colors for Windows themes. Um, got all of this over here. I like this stuff here. As far as app permissions, uh, you can tell it don't show or detect your location. Uh, no camera. And it just goes really in depth on this. And if you scroll down, you actually have a lot, lot more. And so, like, there's even a gaming mode. I know that there it takes a little bit to enable gaming mode. You can do that right on the fly here. And there's just a lot to that. This is my favorite tab here. Because as you guys know, once you get Windows 11 installed, there's a lot of stuff that you go in and look. And you're like, I don't want alarms and clocks, you know, installed. You can get rid of Cortana and uninstall all this stuff. You can even un uninstall Microsoft Edge, which has been almost impossible until now. But all this good stuff you can get rid of. Um, it comes back over here as well. Now see calculator, I wouldn't get rid of. I use that. Um, I use the sticky notes and snipping tool. Um, I use Windows Terminal, so a lot of this I would not be getting rid of, but that's my personal preference. Now, if we look down here, and by the way, all you have to do is go in here and click everything you want to install, and then you'll uninstall it at the end there with that bottom button. And then you got this one here, which is really, really cool. Um, install software is different things that you want to have in your system, but doesn't really come with it. So you have to go out and find all this stuff individually. Well, this is one place to just install it all. Now, this stuff here, the Windows modification software, this is where you kind of have to be careful with system changes that you might not like. Um, so I know like uh, Start All Back and Start 11 kind of makes your start menu different. A lot of people don't like the Windows 11 start menu. I was in that boat, so I changed it with another application. Um, so there's several of these that you can actually use now. Um, you can actually even like 11, 11 clock. I've actually seen this. Um, you can customize the taskbar clock down here. Um, just like uh, go down here, computer maintenance. This stuff is important. C cleaner, Specky. All things I've done videos on before. Now, this is where it gets interesting, and I really like this. So, you know, Windows 11 comes with Edge. I'm not a big fan of Edge, but you can just go right here and go, hey, I prefer Chrome. Let's install that. Let's install uh, Firefox as well. You got all your audio video stuff down here. VLC is a big one. Then you got your Microsoft Office. Um, Office 365 is pretty popular, but these other ones here like OpenOffice and LibreOffice, those are free. You don't have to pay for those. You got your gaming platform, Steam and Ubisoft, stuff like that. Go back up here. I would always grab Discord, Zoom, Skype. You got your streaming services, different coding stuff. So anyway, guys, once you choose everything that you want, if we go back here, you choose all these in this one tab here. You choose everything that you want to make changes with, hit fix windows, and it will go through and, and change everything that you've asked it to do. Then your windows settings, it will, you choose what you want. It will come down here. Once you do change settings, it will change everything. You might have to restart your system after some of this stuff. Um, but same with uninstalling and installing simple install or uh, uninstall button at the bottom once you choose what you want. But anyway, guys, I thought this was just a nice little piece of software to run to get everything done in one location rather than having to um, go into each individual setting, apply that or unapply it and uh, go into and uninstall all the software at individually or install software individually. I thought this would be helpful, but Anyway, guys, if this was helpful to you, go ahead and click that like button down there and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.